Hey guys, welcome to my channel. In today's video, I am going to be starting with Chapter 3 Expansions for Class 9 ICSE from Frank EMU Books. The first question says expand the following. So, the first sub-question is 3a plus 5b the whole square. Now, to solve these kinds of questions, we must know the identities that are a plus b the whole square, a minus b the whole square and a square minus b square if you want me to make a derivation video for all the formulas in these chapters that is factorization and expansion you can comment down below i'll be sure to make a video on that topic so in this sum we are going to be using the formula a plus b the whole square that is a square plus 2ab plus b square so here a is 3a and b is 5b so we'll use the numbers accordingly here a square will be 3a the whole square plus 2 into 3a into 5b plus 5b the whole square so 3 square is 9 and a square will just be written as a square plus 2 3 is a 6 6 5 is a 30 and a into b will just be ab plus 25b square so that is our answer for this sub question moving on we have the sub question 2 that says a minus 4a minus 7b the whole square in this one we are going to be using a minus b the whole square that is a minus b the whole square equals a square minus 2ab plus b square it's not a big deal if you write these numbers that is a square minus 2ab and b square in a different order because it's going to give you the same answer. So here a is 4a and b is 7b. Let's substitute accordingly. So instead of a square we write 4a the whole square minus 2 into 4a into 7b plus 7b the whole square. So, 4 square is 16 a square minus this will be 2 4 is 8, 8 7 is 56 a b plus 4 4 is or 4 square 49 b square and that is our answer for this sub question. Let's see the third sub question that is 2 a by 5 b minus 5 b by 2 a the whole square. So, this sub question is going to be using the formula that we used in the above question. But, here we are having a numerator and a denominator. So, the square sign will be used for both of them. Let's see how. Mentioning the formula a minus b the whole square equals a square minus 2ab plus b square. We have... 2a by 5b the whole square minus 2 into 2a by 5b into 5b by 2a plus 5b by 2a the whole square. So we have 4a square upon 25b square minus 5b, 5b will cancel out, 2a and 2a will cancel out respectively. Now we have 4a square by 5, 25b square minus 2 plus 25b square upon 4a square. And that is the answer for the third sub question of question number 1. So guys here I am with the next sub question that is 2ab plus 3cd the whole square. We are going to be using the formula a plus b the whole square in this one. That is a plus b the whole square equals a square plus 2ab plus b square. It's better if you mention what is a and what is b. Number one, it could reduce your confusion and number two, it makes it look more presentable. So a equals 2ab and b equals 3cd. So instead of this, we can write 2ab the whole square plus 2 into 2ab into 3cd plus 3cd the whole square 
Now we write it as 4a square b square plus 4 threes are 12 a b c d plus 3 sorry 9 c square d square. So this is the answer for this sub question as just we just have to expand we don't have to group and do everything like we do it in factorization. The next sub question says 2a cube plus 5b square the whole square. Now we write the formula a plus b the whole square equals a square plus 2ab plus b square. A is 2a cube and b is 5b cube. We write it as 2a cube the whole square plus 2 into 2a cube into 5b square plus 5b square the whole square. Now, if you have done the chapter in dices, you might know that when we have the power, the whole power, we just multiply the powers. So, 2 square is 4, a cube the whole square. Now, a cube the whole square can be written as a raised to 3 into 2 that gives you a raised to 6. So, we have 4 a raised to 6 plus 2 twos are 4, 4 fives are 20 a cube b square plus 5 square 25 and b raised to 2 into 2 that's b raised to 4. So this is the answer for our fifth sub question. Moving on to our last and sixth sub question. So guys here we are having the last sub question that is root 2a sorry minus 2a minus 5b the whole square. Here we'll be using a minus b the whole square a minus b the whole square equals a square minus 2ab plus b square. a is minus 2a and b is 5b. Now we are taking a as minus 2a because the sign is given before the number. But we are not taking 5b as minus 5b because we have mentioned it that it's a minus b the whole square. Usually the numbers are considered to be positive and when they are negative, the negative sign is taken with them. So, writing this with the values here, we get 2a the whole square minus 2, minus 2a the whole square minus 2 into minus 2a into 5b plus 5b the whole square. We write it as minus 2 the whole square. Now, if you are doing a square, it does not matter what the sign is, the number will just become the square because minus into minus is plus, plus into plus is minus, plus into plus is plus. So whatever be the sign, the end number is going to be positive but only when you are making a square. So it's going to be 4a square minus 2 phi is a 10 and minus 2. So we have minus 20ab plus Pi square 25 b square. So we have 4 a square minus minus plus 20 a b plus 25 b square. And guys that's the answer for our sixth and last sub question of question number one for chapter three expansions. If you like the video don't forget to like share and subscribe and if you find it helpful do comment down below and if you have any other comments please feel free to comment your comments are exactly as important to me as your views and uh, do share it to other people so that I can achieve my goal of helping as many students as possible. Thanks for watching.